updates meet that. Happening today, the city of Detroit's posting a big help wanted ad as it looks to fill more than 350 open positions. This includes bus drivers, mechanics, police officers, accountants, many other jobs. And our Nima Shafe is live outside Cobo Center this morning with a look at the jobs available. Morning, Nima. Alicia, we're live this morning outside the Cobo Center where it's relatively quiet now, but I'll tell you within several hours, we'll see plenty of people wanting to get their hands on one of the more than 350 jobs the city has opened this morning. We begin with the city looking for bus drivers. That's no surprise, right? They're wanting to get more buses on the road to help Detroiters get to where they need to go. On top of looking for those bus drivers, they're also looking for mechanics to get those buses running and moving. We're talking getting people where they need to go. Police officers to help keep the streets safe and EMS technicians. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Dozens of departments within the city hiring, and they're also looking to fill a host of other positions. Here's what you need to know if you're at home and you want to venture out here. This is the information you want. This job fair for the city of Detroit runs from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. today. February 28th and tomorrow, Saturday, March 1st, of course, Mayor Mike Duggan telling us this morning the preference will be given to those honorably discharged veterans and Detroit residents. We know that this job fair is being ran in partnership with the Detroit Employment Solutions Corporation, or DESI. DESI is the city's workforce agency, and of course, they will have a host of other services available this morning for those that come out to the career fair. We're live this morning outside Cobo Center. I'm Amos Jaffe. 7 Action News. You know, Nima, a lot of folks who might be coming today have probably been looking for work for a while. Any advice for these job seekers? You know, I did. I actually dug up some advice from CareerBuilder.com. They suggest that you come with plenty of resumes, one that actually help you get it around. And the other thing is ask for, and this comes of closing the deal, ask for the business card of the person you're talking with or that hiring manager. And if they don't have one, ask for their contact information and ask when you can follow up. Alicia? Thank you very much, Nima, for that live report. Also